Hey, I'm Mike with Fleetwood RV. It's that time of the year for the 2023 models to be rolling offline. And we're starting off with a big one. This is a all new model, the Frontier GTX. Have you ever thought about traveling on the road with a office in the back where you don't always have to sit at your dinette to get your work done? Stay tuned, this may be the great floor plan for you. So here it is, the all new Frontier GTX. This exterior graphic is the Explorer exterior graphic. We have three others to choose from, and one is Wichita, Spring Creek, and Bandit. With all those exterior graphics, you still get to take advantage of the no lue on backer that all Fleetwood products have. What's that mean for you guys? You don't have to worry about d lambs due to a substrate that's swelling or separating from the outside skin. It's gonna save you a lot of money in the long run. So let's look at some of the features down the passenger side of this motorhome. The Frontier GTX, first of all, comes on a 360 horsepower Cummins engine and a 3000 series Allison transmission. That means you can tow that full 10,000 pounds that that tow hitch is rated for. With the Frontier GTX, it's just like the Frontier. We get to take advantage of that Freedom Sport Foundation. That's adding a ton of stability to this motorhome. Plus, it's giving us some industry-leading storage. On the first luggage bay, we have the FRP, the Citadel-lined bottom. And you can see the amount of storage that's incorporated in this basement since we're utilizing that Freedom Sport Foundation. The next luggage compartment, this is a nice one. All of your big, large, bulky items can go in here because with the strength of that foundation, we were able to eliminate that middle bar that separates those two luggage compartments. So this just makes one massive storage area. Right above that, we have a Samsung TV and this is on a swivel, so no matter where the sun is or where you're positioned underneath the patio awning, you're going to get the best viewing angle. And then right behind it, we do have a sound bar as well. Coming into the next luggage compartment, we have the Dirt Devil Central Vac System. That is an option in the Frontier GTX. And then right beside that, we have our transfer switch. Basically what that transfer switch is doing is it's picking which power source to go by. So there's two cables coming into it. One's gonna be your generator and one's gonna be your short cord. And then when you kick on your generator, it'll automatically switch from your short cord over to your generator. It's all done internally. We also have V-Ride. Since we partner with Freightliner Custom Chassis, we're able to take advantage of that nice feature. What that's doing is stabilizing your unit. So when you back out on those uneven surfaces, your motorhome's not rocking back and forth. And when you take those turns, you can take them at speed because when the weight shifts, it shoves you out of your lane. With V-Ride, that's virtually eliminated. And if you wanna see an in-depth review that I did with Joe Snyder from Freightliner Custom Chassis, take a look at this video that we link up here in the top corner and he does a great job of explaining it. Next luggage compartment, we have some more electrical components. We have our slide out disconnect and our MPPT solar charger. That's a 30 amp solar charger. We have our inverter disconnect and our pure sine wave inverter. And that is a 2000 watt inverter. And being pure sine wave, you know that all of your components on the inside are safe. Again, last luggage apartment, we have some more storage and this is your hydraulic pump for your jacks. So if anything ever happens to your jacks, don't worry, you're not stranded. We can literally use an eighth inch Allen wrench, let them open up the valves. That'll let the fluid to get back into our expansion tank, run our jacks up manually with, I believe it's a half inch wrench, and then close your valves and we can get to a repair center pretty safely. Coming back to the rear of the coach, you're gonna notice the same rear cap that you have on that Frontier G or regular Frontier. Very aggressive front caps, rear caps. Probably one of my favorite. We have the two-piece ladder. We do that for safety reasons. We don't want all the kids playing on your ladder, getting up on your roof there at the campground. On the back side, underneath this engine gate, we have access to all of our routine maintenance uh, fluids 
and another video if you want to check out on how to maintain your diesel motorhome when all these fluids need to be changed we'll link that video right up here and that's another one that i did with joe snyder from uh, freightliner custom chassis down below we have that 10,000 pound hitch that we talked about again fully loaded we can still take advantage of that full 10,000 pounds and that is due to that 360 horsepower engine and that 3000 series allison transmission right here is our brake sink so this unit is already prepped and ready for your tow vehicle so the day you pick this up if you have the system in your tow vehicle you have another redundant source of braking coming on over to the driver side our first bay here is our house batteries so this is supplying all the power to the house this ain't your starting batteries this is just your house batteries we have four of those they're six volt batteries they're wired in series and parallel and then directly behind that we have our air cleaner that whole canister gets changed out there's not an element inside of it it's the whole canister when we go to replace that moving up we have more batteries now these two here are your starting batteries so this is what's powering your engine starting your coach if for some reason you had to jump your coach i mean we obviously have the um, auxiliary start that will transfer the power from our house batteries to our chassis batteries but if you had to jump it here's where you'd want to come if you put your jumper cables on that you're going to be waiting a long time before you get to start your unit directly underneath that we have our 50 amp power cord and this one is on an electric reel we have a hole in the bottom so you can keep this locked up when you're in use and right here we have a 13 gallon def tank that def tank's using probably two and a half percent of the diesel that you're using so if you have a 100 gallon fuel tank which this gtx does and you're using two and a half percent with def about every five five and a half times you fill up your unit you have to fill up your def tank coming up to the next bay this is our wash down bay this is where we go to drain our tanks we have a gravity fill for our fresh water we have a whole house fuel fi or fuel filter you don't put fuel in here we had a whole house water filter and we change this about every 8,000 gallons that's going to make sure you got some good clean water coming into your unit our low point drains so when you come to winterize your motor home right here will drain your system water heater bypass sani flush so when we empty our black tank hook up your hose into here and that's going to help pressurize the water coming into your black tank and help clean it out out uh, outside shower great spot to come and uh, spray off all the toys clean the pets feet when they get into trouble we got to have the 110 and underneath you can see those wedge tanks that we have that's exclusive to fleetwood with the wedge tanks if you notice right here the bottom of that black tank is only that wide and it's tilted towards the drain so you don't have to worry about mounding mounding is a common problem in the motorhomes when the black tank sets there all the debris sets in there hardens up and then you'll never get a true reading on your tank so with the wedge tank and the exterior sensors that we have on our um, all of our tanks it's going to give you an accurate reading right here's where we drain our tanks and this is on a swivel and then we have our black and our gray knife valves as well we'll go up to this bay we've already looked at this one but just to reiterate how much storage is in that basement right there got our ladder extension and an extra box of porcelain tile another step up from the g or the standard frontier the gtx has a porcelain tile floor in it right here is an aqua hot 400d the standard frontier has a 250d which is a great unit this one has a 400d which is another great unit the difference is the frontier gtx has larger floor plans we have a 37 and a 39 foot floor plan versus you know 33s and 34s so longer the floor plans the bigger the aqua hot we do that it runs off electricity for light loads and it runs off diesel so if you're plugged into a campground you could literally run this unit for free that will do all of your hot water plus it heats the interior of your unit we do have heat plumbed into that basement we just looked at where all your tanks are there's heat into there so operating this unit in cold weather is not an issue at all dual fuel fills 
And then right here is our front bay. We have our windshield wiper fluid. This is the module for all the Freightliner components. And then right up here in the top right corner, we have an emergency fill. That way we can get air into our braking system. So if your brakes are ever locked up, you need to have this towed if something happens, your brakes with no air in the system are applied. So if we need to get air into them to release them, we can put it in here. And plus there's a return chuck too. So if you need to fill up the kids' toys or whatever you need to do, you can do that as well. Directly underneath, this is our generator exhaust. And this is our aqua hot exhaust right here. Around the front, we have all diamond shield on the front of this unit. You see how aggressive that front cap is, and that is protected by that diamond shield. So bugs will come off easily, prevent it from prevent rock chips and all that. The last thing before we jump inside to look at this unit is the mirrors. So our cameras are incorporated way at the top of those mirrors. That's gonna give you the best view of anything you have beside you. And it's gonna give you one of the safest views. A lot of manufacturers will put their cameras down below. And the main issue with that is road grime. Whenever they get you start traveling down the road, it kicks up all that debris, covers your lens, and it really hinders what you have, your, your view from what's beside you. So all of ours are mounted up top. Now let's jump aside and take a look at the 37 RT and see what makes this unit so special. Before we open up this unit, let's take a look at it all closed up in travel mode and see what the access is like to our port and amenities. So as you see, the Motion Power Lounge, the dinette is easily accessible. If you need to get back to the refrigerator or the pantry, let's unlock it first. We have full access to that and the pantry. The bedroom, we have pocket doors, so we can get into our bedroom. Now we cannot get over it unless you crawl over the bed, but that's pretty standard in all Class A motorhomes. And then again, we have pocket doors, so access to the bathroom is uninterrupted. So the accessibility is pretty good in the Frontier GTX. This is the 37 RT. Let's open up the unit and take a look at all the other amenities. So as we run the slide outs out, another upgrade for the model year 2023 is we have a Firefly multiplex system and all of our slide outs can now be ran from this Firefly panel. Centrally located, so works great for all slide out boxes. We do have other switches as well, but this is a great spot to come and control your whole motorhome. So now since the slide out boxes are open, you can tell there's a ton of room in this living area. This interior decor is Coventry. We do have two other interior decors. And then we have it paired with the graystone hardwood. And we do have three other wood colors. You could do the winter fog, which is the white with a gray glazing in all the recessed areas. We also have heritage, which is a full white painted cabinetry. Again, this one's the graystone. And then if you want a natural wood color look, that's going to be our English chestnut. So many of options go to fleetwoodrv.com and you can build your own coach you can put whatever interior decors pair it with what color wood you want it's a great option to you know to build that coach out and see what fits you just right so let's look at some of the interior features of the frontier gtx so we'll start out up here in the cockpit area so first of all we have a tilting steering wheel, which reveals our OptiView digital dash and our DriveTech steering wheel. That DriveTech basically is incorporating a lot of safety in when you're driving this unit. So all of our shifting is right here on the paddle. We literally just turn this knob forward for drive, backwards for reverse. If we want to apply our engine brake, the Frontier GTX has a VGT brake, which is a variable geometry turbo brake. We just flip the switch down or up. On your dash, it says high. That's means it's on. If it's off, it will display no setting at all. And then again, the OptiView digital dash, that falls underneath the FCCC, that's an FCCC feature, but it falls underneath that whole Daimler umbrella. So they've actually pulled this out of a S-Class Mercedes. So if you have a Mercedes, this dash is gonna be very familiar to you. We have dual monitors in all of our Frontier GTXs, which again, we're incorporating safety. We want you to feel comfortable when you're driving your Frontier GTX, because if you're not comfortable, it's not enjoyable, right? So we want you safe and comfortable. Everything on the left panel here is entertainment. So that's gonna control our navigation. It's gonna control our radio, stuff like that. The one on the right is dedicated to our cameras. So we can flip through these cameras by hitting the mode button 
and we can see one, two, three cameras, whatever ones are important to you, all can be shown there. Which when you think about it on a safety aspect, when you're riding through congested towns or some of those interstates where there's ramps go every which direction, you wanna be able to see your navigation. Me, I follow the blue line. Everywhere I go, I just follow the blue line, tells me which ramp to get off of. So I wanna see that navigation at all times. But I also need to see what's beside me because when traffic's crazy, you need to be able to get over and you wanna be able to see everything. So dual monitors is a very important feature to have. And if that's not enough safety piled in this cockpit, we also have the mobile eye, which is gonna watch for pedestrians. It's gonna do lane departure. So if we start to shift out of our lane, it's gonna alert us. If your turn signal's on, it won't give you an alert, but any other time it will. It does speed zones. It does a ton of features, collision mitigation. It's not gonna take over our braking system, but it's gonna give us a, about a three second warning before impact. And that's all based upon your speed. So again, a very important feature to have in your motorhome. We'll jump up top here and these cabinets slide sideways and we do that so you can access it with this bed up. But we have our WeBoost antenna right here. So that's gonna boost all of our mobile um, signal. We have our King satellite receiver and our TV lockout. So no, you cannot watch the football game while you're traveling down the road. And then right here, we slide this cabinet off to the side. We have our Wi-Fi Ranger. So this is gonna boost any Wi-Fi signal that's already existing. And if you have the connectivity package, it's gonna also provide a service. So there's a box up on our roof. You get a SIM card, it's a one-time thing. You put the SIM card in there and that's gonna be your data package basically. Just like your cell phone, it's kind of how the WeBoost works. So if you are working on the road, you do have service while you're traveling down the road. The Vega Touch here is our control panel for our multiplex. And then this little light switch over here, we get asked a lot, what is this? And that is our lights above our bunk. So when you lower this bunk, that light is gonna come on automatically on the top bunk. So that way you can safely get in and out of it. If you do want that off, whenever this is down, you just click the button and it shuts the life, lights off up there. Right above the passenger seat, we have another access panel and slide out controls right here. We have our full slide. So if your full slide's not working, first thing I would do is make sure you make sure this key is in the on position and make sure you have enough um, battery power to, uh, to get that slide out out. And then right here is our automatic leveling system for our jacks. You can do manual or auto. And if you are on auto, make sure everybody's sitting still on the coach because if there's the dogs are running around, the kids are jumping off the couch, jumping off the top bunk here, um, it's always going to be calculating that weight and it's never going to level real well. And I get asked sometimes, well, why would you put manual on there? What's the manual level for? And basically the manual level will get you a true level coach lower to the ground, typically more than the auto will. So on the auto leveling system, it's always gonna level upwards. It's never really gonna lower any. So it's gonna keep going up to catch up with it until it's level. With the auto, or with the manual, if this side's just a little bit higher, we can, we can just drop that back down just a little bit and it's level, which will keep us lower to the, to the ground. Moving back into the living area, this particular unit has the motion power lounge. That is an option in the GTX. A ton of storage in the middle. And then again, it's power. We do have lighted cup holders plus USB ports. So that way we can always charge our devices. Storage on each armrest. And if this isn't working, first thing I'll check is make sure my inverter disconnect switch is on. So if that switches that we looked at in the back compartment on the driver, or I'm sorry, passenger side is not on, these will not operate. And that is the same with our fireplace. And this fireplace puts out 5,300 BTUs of heat. So it's not just aesthetically pleasing there. It adds a ton of, uh, of heat really just click it on and it's instant. So you pair this heating source with our rear heat pump that's in our rear AC plus the heat coming out of the aqua hot on electric. You can literally heat this coach for free. And while we did mention the ACs, all GTXs come with three 15,000 BTU ACs and a heat pump in the rear. Coming over to the dinette, this is the credenza. So we adds a lot of storage underneath it. This can pull out, if it's not locked, for additional seating. 
We have two more seats that match this decor in this wood that's folded up in the rear wardrobe. And um, again, additional seating. And back here is our TV on a televator. So you can have the view or you can watch TV. All MCD shades as well. So we have our daytime and our nighttime shades. They are slow rolling. So you don't have to worry about the kids hitting them and then fling them back up and breaking. We'll move back into the kitchen area. All of the hardware on the GTX is metal, which is a good thing. Metal is a lot more durable than plastic. So all metal European hidden hinges, all metal latches, all metal tracks for our adjustable shelving. And again, all the shelves are adjustable and we have nice Ozite line cabinetry. What that's going to do is dampen all the noise that's coming from your dishes that are inside and it's going to add a little bit of grip as well. Personally, I think it gives it a nice finished clean look also. We have a convection microwave, an induction cooktop. Remember this is a full electric coach so no gas on board at all. No propane anywhere on this unit which is good. One less combustible material on board and plus it's one more tank that you don't have to worry about filling up. We have a picture box window. It's a 13 by 60 picture box window with a real residential tile on the outside of it. We have a, about a five inch gap behind it. Great place to grow herbs naturally or to uh, put your spices, a little extra storage. Underneath we have our trash can and a pretty large storage area. And we have five drawers right here. All metal drawer slides. plenty of room for the larger items. And over here on the other side, we have another pantry for your cereal, canned goods, potato chips, all the, all the important stuff goes over here. And before we move into the bathroom, let's take a look at the refrigerator. Full residential refrigerator, the freezer is down below, and we do have an ice maker built in as well. Stainless steel, and that is an LG refrigerator. Now we'll jump over to the bathroom. All solid surface. Plenty of storage up top, adjustable shelving. We have the MCD shades in here and a nice fiberglass shower. We have the three glass doors that slide and a built-in seating area. As we mentioned when we were running the slide out boxes out, here's our multiplex. Hit the home button right here, shows all of our tanks, shows the temperature in the motor home. If you wanna start your auto gen start, we can come in here and do all of that. There shows your levels as well, all of our lighting, AC, so aqua hot burner, or you can do the electric, either one, all three of our ACs. And again, this is brand new for 2023, we can now run our slide outs out from our Firefly. Right here is the hookup for that Dirt Devil um, central vac system that we've seen outside. Now let's jump into the bedroom. We have a king bed. This is an articulating bed. So you have the option to have it all the way down or you can set up. Great spot to watch the news, watch a movie, whatever you want to do before you go to bed. The TV is directly across from that. We got storage on both sides of it. The storage does go all the way behind the TV as well. Two doors here with adjustable shelving. Down below, we have a side-by-side -side washer and dryer. So it's two separate units. And we have a bank of four drawers that run vertically on each side of that as well. Coming over Above the bed, we did not mention nice deep overhead storage here. This cabinet here is prepped for a CPAP. You notice the light came on automatically. We have 110 hookups in there and we have a hole in the back that your hose can come down. Right here is another Firefly um, multiplex panel. So you don't have to get up in the middle of the night to go over to that centralized location. You can control most of your motorhome from your bed. And now what makes the 37RT the 37RT? It's this rear office. 
So as we come back here, first of all, we'll look at the right side of it. We have a nice little storage area. We have two levels of, for hanging wardrobe and plus wardrobe space over here. All your shoes, other stuff can go up top as well. So plenty of storage on this side. And then over here, it's all set up for an office. We already have a TV that is on the wall. This is on a swivel so we can spin it out over to the side. So this, you can hook your computer directly up to this and use it as a monitor. We have storage here and on the side, bunch of storage up top. So everything you need to be functional on the road is located right here. And the good thing about it is we have this large window as well. So you're not separated from the kids if they're out there playing outside underneath the patio. You can get work done, still keep an eye on the kids as well. So this is an option. Standard, you're gonna get a huge wardrobe area, but this is, a, I think it's gonna be a very popular option. We've been at a lot of shows. It's been one of the biggest requests we've been getting from customers is now they have the option to work from the road, but they've never really had the ability to because they're always sitting at the dinette and then the kids want to eat breakfast or whatever the case may be, you're always being interrupted. But now you have nice four panel glass doors. You can actually have your own office. So we're really excited about this. I think uh, it's going to be a big hit. And if you have any questions, um, contact your Fleetwood, your local Fleetwood dealer or go to fleetwoodrv.com. You can build this coach out, spec it out how you want. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, as this is the very first of the model year 2023 walkarounds. There will be plenty more to come. Use the comment section down below. Let us know what you think of the 37RT, and we'll see you on the next walkaround video.